Hi, I'm Dinesh Dutt, Chief Scientist at Cumulus Networks. I'm here to introduce the system software architecture of Cumulus Linux. Today, modern networking equipment is proprietary. This makes it expensive, inflexible, and difficult to manage. The nature of the modern data center is such that it requires a network operating system that is open, flexible, and easy to manage. The compute side already has an such an operating system. It is called Linux. We are bringing the Linux revolution to networking. Cumulus Linux is the first true full-featured Linux operating system for networking equipment. This allows the modern data centers to break free from proprietary vertically integrated gear. This introduction to the system software architecture shows you how we accomplish this. The first thing to understand is that Cumulus Linux is Linux. Unlike many industry competitors, we are not a Linux-based OS, we are Linux. We offer the entirety of the Linux experience as you understand it. We provide the model of the Linux server with a whole bunch of NICs. The front panel ports of the switching fabric appear to the Linux kernel as if they are standard NICs. With that said, let's look at the model here. We have the standard Linux kernel, which manages the usual hardware resources such as the CPU, flash, storage, memory, etc. To that, we have added the switching silicon. The Linux kernel already has all the abstractions necessary for networking, route tables, ARP tables, ACLs, interface management, and a whole host of other system information such as power and sensors. In Cumulus Linux, all of these are maintained in the Linux kernel just as in a Linux server. In Cumulus Linux, we synchronize the hardware state with the kernel state. In other words, we have accelerated the data forwarding path while preserving the control abstractions. Let's see what that means at one more level. Control protocols such as routing protocols, spanning tree, LLDP, all of them run in user space as applications. Because we provide the native Linux experience, networking and server management can be unified under a common tool chain. You can now use the same tools such as Puppet, Chef and CF Engine to drive automation for networking. Similarly, on the monitoring side of things, you can use a whole host of tools such as CollectD and Ganglia. Obviously, you can still use traditional network monitoring tools such as SNMP. Because we provide the native Linux experience, users can build customizable agents to run on top of Cumulus Linux. Examples of these include network orchestration agents. Now let us take a look at an actual switch running Cumulus Linux. The first thing that you'll notice is that our CLI is the bash shell. On a Linux server, if you want to add a route, you would use an IP route add command. On a switch running Cumulus Linux, you would do the same. And here we are adding a multipath route. You can see that the route has been added. And this is the route that has been synchronized with the hardware. And the hardware is using these routes to forward packets. If you want to look at a link state, you would look at, you would use the IP link command and you do the same on a switch running Linux, Cumulus Linux. If you want to bring down the link, you would set, you would use the IP link command to bring down a link and you can see that we are doing the same with Cumulus Linux. If you want to bring the link back up, you can use a different command, one that maybe more people are familiar with and you can see that the link is a backup again. On a Linux server, if you want to look at the statistics, you would use the netstat command. On a switch running Cumulus Linux, you would do the same. And these statistics are synchronized with the hardware and the counters are updated as packets are forwarded. If you want to do something more geeky, if you want to look at the link characteristics, such as speed, what's negotiated, etc., you would use the htool command on a Linux server. You would do the same over here as well and you can see that you get all the different pieces of information such as speed, duplex, etc. Let's do something more complicated now. If on a Linux server, you want to look at ACLs, you'd use the IP tables command. On a switch running Cumulus Linux, again, you'd use the same thing. This is an example showing you what are the control plane policies that have been put on this Linux switch. We can also watch the hit statistics associated with these IP table rules updated in real time. As you can see, the statistics are being updated. These are just a few examples on an actual switch running Cumulus Linux. 
To summarize, Linux is a natural fit as the network operating system for the data center. With Cumulus Linux, we have created an open, flexible, easy to manage, and mature operating system for the networking equipment. With Cumulus Linux, we are bringing the Linux revolution to networking.